So run. Go ahead. All right, for those of you who are interested in how the simulator is coming along, uh, Sun's doing the videoing here. This is the panel. I've decided to go with FS Expand. They have uh, an adequate program that will work fine and of course considerably less than Project Magenta. I found out that their cost is somewhere around one thousand dollars American where FS Expand conversion from Euro is one hundred and six dollars. So gee, guess what I went with? Uh, the gauges are very accurate, uh, the program works fine, I'm intermixing uh, Flight Simulator X and Windows Vista on the mainframe computer to Windows XP on my second and third computers and I have no problem at all intermixing those two programs. Uh, several additions and subtractions to the flight simulator. We removed the GoFlight throttle quadrant the other day and we have the new throttle quadrant. This, believe it or not, is a home-built throttle quadrant which is just as good and frankly made better than the camera <laughs> than uh, my son's phone's ringing. But anyway, this one's made a lot better than the um, than the Italian job. Um, on the Italian throttle quadrant, everything up here is plastic, including these. As you can see, these are metal on the thrust reversers. Uh, the difference between this one and the Italian model is it does not have stepper motors for the trim wheels. Those can be added, but other than that, everything else works the same and uh, as I said a lot better quality. Uh, we've also purchased the overhead from Pull Dragonette. I've heard various things about this company. I went with them anyway and they have not disappointed me yet. Their products are great. As a matter of fact the craftsmanship in this is quite quite interesting. It's uh, uh, made quite well. We got done putting the enunciators in. There's 101 of these little goodies right here. Uh, now the tedious task of taking all the LEDs that we received, getting them soldered and put in behind each one of these enunciators. Uh, Pole Dragonette, they make the phony gauges in case you don't want to put in the very expensive flight illusion gauges or other gauges. They look well, they look good, and for right now that's exactly what we're going to use. So we're going to be start starting on this tomorrow along with the um, the holder for it so we can have it um, over the simulator itself. For those of you who want to know what this works on, this works on a card made by a company called Fidgets which has, um, uh, let's put it this way, I'm disappointed with their product. I used the Fidgets LED 64 for the lights. Uh, the one thing that Fidgets does not tell you is that you have to create a program for each one of these lights to function the way it's supposed to. Yeah, it's easy to light them up and to uh, dim them. Each individual light is quite easy to dim, but insofar as assigning them to flight simulator, that's a different story all in itself. I am not a computer person. I don't know anything about a computer except turning it on and basically turning it off. So fidgets fine for the computer nerd. Stay away from that card if indeed you don't know anything about writing complete computer programs. Which leads me to this. I found out that the company overseas that builds these also is using a Fidgets card, which is in here, 
It's called a fidget full interface card. They want to sell you overseas a disc for the program. The program disc that they want to sell you is 600 euros, which comes to around 750 American dollars, where this program can also be used on a program that you can get free off the internet called FS2 Fidgets. And unfortunately it's downloadable free from only one place, mycockpit.org, which also happens to be down. Their servers apparently have some major problems. They've been down for about six weeks. My son told me they came up very briefly last night and then they're down again. So for any of you who want to uh, are using FS2 fidgets for your homemade throttle quadrants, I would appreciate it if you get a hold of me by email. My email is douglasc41 at yahoo.com or of course you can go through YouTube and get a hold of me there because I need that program in order for this to work. Other th than that I'm going to have to get a computer nerd over here myself and have them create the program, a different type of program that will interface with Flight Simulator because even though this is recognized by the computer the fidget card comes up and it shows everything is functioning properly everything has already been pre-adjusted on it uh, Flight Simulator does not recognize this unit and I need that program in order for Flight Simulator to recognize it and of course I am using Flight Simulator X as you can see on the monitor there I'm sitting in Las Vegas at McCarran Airport and see the little cars running behind there uh, I could never go back to Flight Simulator 2004 uh, FSX has so much more to it. Uh, for those of you who are continuing to ask me, gee, what kind of computer you have? My main computer is a modified uh, Hewlett Packard in a much larger case with a thousand watt power supply. I have at present four gigabytes of RAM, an NVIDIA 8800 GT uh, card and my understanding is that is already outdated. I have 512 megabytes in that particular card. But it runs for me Flight Simulator extremely well. So um, as time progresses I'll probably wind up getting a better card, one of the newer cards which everybody's um, in love with. Anyway that's it. New throttle quadrant, new um, overhead I changed the rotor pedals out. Uh, I've got CH rotor pedals in there right now. The Satec ones uh, took a dive on me and unfortunately there's no way of fixing them and they didn't seem to want to talk to me by computer. So frankly I would stay away from that company. If you're thinking about buying a good set of rotor pedals it's not going to cost you an arm, a leg, and your firstborn. The CH rotor pedals will work fine and the Precision Flight Control Yoke. We're sticking with that. The company has been absolutely great to me. Um, they make high quality equipment, not plastic stuff. Um, they're a very good company to work with and they will back all of their units up. I had the card go out in this one, sent it to them, they put it in, shipped it back with no problems whatsoever, no questions asked. Anyway, we'll keep you up to date as time goes along and let you see how things are coming along with this. The overhead stand should be um, started on tomorrow, so probably the next video will have the overhead up and, and connected and running. So thanks for watching and we'll see you later.